from the Fox Television Center in Los Angeles. This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Good. Howard's had enough. He's going global. Shock jock Howard Stern is moving to satellite radio. Jeff Michael live in Santa Monica to show us Howard's new home. Jeff. Pretty much, uh, Christine. In fact, we're at Alan Ed's Auto Sound here in Santa Monica, and they do things like install these satellite radios, install them in trucks like this. Now, Howard Stern has made this announcement. He says he's going to be gone from FM radio in 15 months. He says he's going to leave KLSX here in Los Angeles, and in fact, that means he is going to go from this to this. So I was tuning into the lingerie bowl to see breasts. Howard Stern, sex-obsessed and often profane talk show, is the biggest draw in radio. It's also cost radio stations more than $2 million in FCC fines. Finally, Stern says he's tired of the battle. They keep chopping it up, they keep hacking it up. Every time the religious right complains about the show, they, uh, they get their way. Not anymore. Stern is going where his nemesis, FCC Chairman Michael Powell, can't touch him. Because Sirius satellite radio is beamed directly to subscribers, the government can't control the content. This marks the death of AM and FM radio. I guarantee it. I put my money where my mouth is. And the fledgling Sirius radio is doing the same, spending $500 million over five years for Howard, and hopefully for a fraction of his 12 million fans. In order for the deal uh, to, to pay for itself, it requires a, a million of those fans to follow. Analysts say that shouldn't be a problem. Even at the subscription fee of twelve ninety-five a month, some say Stern could take as many as four million fans with him. Los Angeles listeners? I mean, I am a big Howard Stern fan, but I'm not sure I would purchase a membership just to see his show. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it. I have too many bills anyway. But the really big fans? Absolutely. Why? Huh? Could because I like him. I think it's terrible what they've been doing. And uh, it would be great to hear him totally uncensored. That's the kind of guy car audio shops like Alan Ed's are hoping to see. Yeah, I don't see 20% being a problem. Increase in sales. Increase in sales, yes. And so there it is, Howard Stern's new home. Satellite radio. He's going to be on as of January 1st, the year 2006. Stern says 20 years ago when he went into radio, he changed the face of radio. Says he's going to do it again. Well, he's already changed the stock price. Serious stock today went up 15%. Reporting live in Santa Monica, Jeff Michael, Fox 11 News.